What is up guys? Welcome to episode 2. So today we will be attending a learning session hosted by DFC Financial Planners. And the learning session is about how to conduct a learning session. Good morning! So we're currently setting up. We will be starting by 9 a.m. Yeah. And our speaker has arrived, Coach Russ. Yay. So welcome 2020. Woo! excited for to be like to honor and thank you for choosing to celebrate your first Friday for the year 2020. Congratulations. Yeah. So, it's an honor and privilege to celebrate my first working <laughs> my first working day uh, for 2020 and I, I, I want to give this back to DFC and uh, so when I come to Big Topic, you are my ultimate number one favorite. Pag-boy, pag-tapit, DFC is my number one ultimate favorite. Ask of December 31, 2019. Because we'll never know next this year, di ba? Kaya I have to keep fighting for this plan. Um, first thing, I will actually put you, how about those people who are not in our business? Is this interesting for you, Vic? Yes, very. Gaya? Yeah. Feel it? Okay, what did I just do? See? What's in it for me? How come I came here? The parking fees ko, nabiliti ko, naligo pa ko, pwede mo wala dali. Your ultimate top of mind when you are actually meeting people is what's in it for them that they want to see you, that they're crazy to be with you. People are willing to buy, people are willing to travel from all over the world just to see you. The most important part here, on top of your mind here, what's in it for me, for your audience? The only thing that I have in my life is what's in it for you when I meet people. I never say this is what I want from you. I always say what's in it for you. Are we good? The most important thing that I want you to understand how will you engage people is this powerful number 10, 24, 7. Can you say that? Ready, begin. 10, 24, 7. Which is you have to pause every 10 minutes. Oh. And check in with people and ask people to stand, ask people to high five. Ask people to share, ask people to whatever, whatever. Are we clear? Yes. And if you want the learning to be really 100%, you have to go review 24 hours, which is tomorrow, which is our big day. You have to review your notes so you can actually learn. Okay. Wow. Most important part, if that learning is very important, okay. after seven days, you review it, but look for people, opportunity, organization to actually re-echo what you have learned so that you can actually learn this in the deepest and brand grandest way. Wow, take a deep breath. Okay. Yes. So, so I, I, I heard a lot of expectations how to keep the engagement. Yes, yes, yes. aside from 10, 24, 7, make sure you check in with the expectation every now and then. But more than that, I use a lot of facts. Yeah. These are what you call learning sensory preference. Visual, letter V. What do I use for visual people? Question. Slides, what else? Posters, what else? Body movement. Body movement is actually okay, kinesthetic. Okay? Okay? Vax. The way I am presenting myself to you, visual. A is? Auditory, use tone of voice, a lot of music, relatable, that's also part of the drama. Okay, it has to be a full theater production. No, sorry, but I mean, I'm going to smoke. I'm going to smoke. I'm is kinesthetic, a lot of movement, a lot of hi fi, a lot of hugging. Okay? As spiritual. 
we put in God component around it. Ask me why. Why? We are now in the age of Aquarius. That's why companies don't understand no matter what they do, no matter how much incentive they give, ang mga tao magkisun 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 mga generation. Right? Why? Because spirituality must be there. We're in the age of Aquarius. is the age of awareness, consciousness, and spirituality. Mag-anap. Does anyone would like to share? Do you feel uncomfortable? Yes. That's a basic human nature. People wants to help people who's asking help. So, masigaw, okay, katubag, katubag ka. So, ayaw ka hatlo. One of common problems sa mga trainer. Mamutangan na sila, sila po'y mutubag. Kaya hatlo sa may mutubag. Okay, so again, let's give Myra a hand. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, my name is... Hi, yeah. my name is Myra. Hi, Myra. So, what we do that is we call that our ritual. So, another thing. Please write the word ritual. No? How come church are very effective? I got one of the most... I think I admired it the most last year was uh, being able to spend time with Iglesia de Cristo. Anyone Iglesia de Cristo here? Wang po kasi mga ritual mo. Naganahan kayo mga tao. People go to church because there's ritual. So, we want to put in ritual also in our organization. And one of our ritual here is, Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is Myra. Hi, Myra. It has to be unison. Hi, Myra. Hi, my name is Myra. Ready, go. Hi, my name is Myra. Ready, good. Hi, my name is Myra. Everyone say, Hi, Myra. Okay, how do you keep people engagement? Your top of mind here is to make sure, okay? My top of mind here is to make sure people feel safe in the learning environment. That's where I'm really scared of remembering my grade school. Because we don't feel safe around classroom, okay? The best way you can feel safe around people is to, number two. Number one is maintain self-esteem. Maintain self-esteem. Which means, kung pumasok yung tao, ang tingin niya sa kanyang sarili, level five, huwag mong gawing level four. Are we clear? Which means, huwag mong pahiyaan, huwag mo siyang, okay. And the way you maintain people's self-esteem is letter A, okay? Never make them feel wrong about themselves. Which means, walang maling sagot. Pag sumagot yan, ng maling-mali, kailangan patulan mo. Great says, I love your answer, and for now, I'm not looking for that answer. But thank you, panakpakan natin si Sess. Diba? Kakao ha ka, rather, wrong. What kind of thinking is that? Nagamawag, magbud ka, ha? Tara ba? Never make them feel wrong about it. By the way, what I'm sharing with you is a basic human principle as well. Yes. You can use this with your children. You can use this with your husband. You can use this when you meet clients. Are we good? Yes. Never make them feel wrong about themselves. Wag mo silang malihan. Okay? I'm very good in number two. Enhance self-esteem. Pag pumasok yan, bad trip, level five, ang energy, gusto mo lumabas yan level six or level ten. Are we clear? And the way we do that is really a lot of acknowledgement. Notice when... When I ask people to answer, I give papinapalakpakan. It, 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 it has to be that way. A lot of acknowledgement. And the way you acknowledge has to be really full circle and full complement. Are you learning? Yes. The formula and how to be people magnet. Number one, people magnet humor. Yes. Please write that. Put in a lot of humor in all of your engagement, in all of your meeting, a lot of laughter. People will actually be drawn to you when there's a lot of humor. Oh, when I was in Australia, <laughs> uh, we went to see Jokoy. Oh my God, in one topic, one hour, more of you. Humor. Humor is very sexy. Okay, that's one. Okay. Good? And let's give Anna a hand. That's, that's the tone of voice. And let's give Anna a hand. Ready, go. And let's give Anna a hand. Next person, please. Oh, yeah. Anyone else? I love it. Yay! So, what I just did was all-inclusive. Please write that word. All-inclusive. Which means, uh, you notice Marivic is not with our group. Carla is not with group. We have somebody who's just studying. It must be relatable yeah. to whatever you do in your life. Now, if in case hindi talaga siya relatable for you, you can choose in or you can choose out because we don't want to drag the class because somebody is not there. Mm. And that's why we don't like school. Ask me why. Why? 
chemistry. Ay. Diba? Parang, it has nothing to do with my life. And that's why your top of mind right now is to make sure when you meet people, it has to be inclusive. Mm. Yep. It has to serve them really well. Good? Yes. And with that being said, let's give everyone a big, big round of applause. Okay. So, um, sige, so expectation, maintain engagement, I gave you a lot as well. But the most important engagement that I want you to do here is what's in it for me. Okay, your audience, kailangan yung sasabihin mo, hindi pwedeng hindi sila makapag-relate, kailangan importante sa kanila. Yes. Which means, you must know the audience and what is it that they want. That's why I take a lot of time before I say yes to, because I mean, I get a lot of recommendation like crazy. But I do at least three, two, minimum three engagement before I say yes to a project. Why? Because ayaw ko nang walang engagement. Ang hirap kaya maging speaker ka walang nakikinig. Ang pangit. No? So we're more than halfway. I'm not, I haven't started yet. So what I'm trying to do here, this is the word cooking. Right? Okay, the word cooking. Okay. Ako bisya ginutog ayaw. Para inipundok ako, you just have to eat it. No questions asked. Notice most of the trainer learning session, they, they spill the beans right yeah. away. Yes. Without even knowing, relatable pa to sa'yo, gusto ko ba to, importante ba sa akin to. You have to cook really well. So right now, I'm actually cooking so that the moment I buy into that, I take action right away. Are we good? So, if you're content and you're relatable, kay ka, my God, you're a level 10 accepted. Good or good? Okay? Uh, maintain high energy. We have a lot. Okay? Uh, that's why we have the every 10 minutes because we call that yung kanina every 10 minutes. no? So, this is the human energy. The first 10 minutes, taas kayo na. Kung dilit ka mag-break, it will die down. Okay? So, what I'll do is actually, before kala siya mo na, oh, magpa-activity na po ni Anna, and some, most of the most important activity that I do, please write this down. Diet, D-Y-A-D. Which is partner share. This is talking to someone beside you. So talk to the person beside you and share what have you learned. That's what we call diet. Okay? We also have a triad. Why is it called triad? Because? Group shares three or more. So we not, did you notice we have a lot of we, we started with triad, yeah. yes. and then like, I have found I uh, had a body, and then there's a group shares. Okay, um, high energy, a lot of movement. That's why I haven't done any seminar with tables. Why do you think I don't like tables? Okay. Restricted, restricted, great. What else? Brings you away from the audience. Brings me away from the audience. What else? Okay. Okay. It reminds you of your school. Oh. Okay. Remember study shows. Ninety-five percent hate school, and it brings back the memory. Oh. Are, are we good? So again, those are some. So along the way, I would just inject some. Is this helpful? Yes. Okay. And a lot of question. Open-ended question. And when you ask a close-ended question, it has to be answerable by yes or no. That easy to say yes. Are we learning? Yes. Parts for materials. So anytime and every time you do something, kailangan prepared ka for materials. So if I may ask you, what do you think are the materials that I prepared for this learning event today? Okay. PowerPoint, that's one. What else? Easel board is a material prepared. What else? Ban banners. Laptop. Laptop. Dental pen. Music. Microphone. Worst for me and very disrespectful. Inigabot sa audience diha ka pa magkara It doesn't show any respect to your audience. Which means the moment you open the door, you're ready to rock and roll. Okay? Yes. Great. S is what we call set up. Personally, set up for me is everything. 
because it it creates a lot of do I trust this seminar or not? So which means the most important setup here is maayos yung room, walang kagat, sa kayo mga hindi dapat nandito, wala dapat dito. Okay? Most important setup for me is I have a living plant. Very important or living flower. Okay? If it's a paint seminar, I have candles, I have tissue box. That's the what's in it for me. But the tea up will always spell with two things. Can I share with you? Yes. The first here is the practical need, which is professional support. How did I show that to you today? I just talk about Harvard. Mm, I just talk about INSEAD. I just talk about the biggest center company in the world. So, did I was I able to sell you that professionally I'm trained to do this? Yes. 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 Okay. Practical need, which is actually your professional. Bakit kayo makinig sa akin professionally? Okay. But for me, 95 per 97 percent is personal. My personal story. How did I sell my personal story to you? Ng ano mabino magin mo nako? Kaniha. Humble beginnings. Hindi ka magaling sa school. Okay. School. Okay. More than that, because a lot of people na stuck diha eh. But more than that, what was the turn around? Because I wanted to have the turn around. Gusto po ko yung nana. Traveling. Enjoying. That's it. You have to present a personal need, a practical need, and a personal need. But most likely focus on a personal need. Are you with me? And you do this during the opening. Good or good? Yes. Okay, I is what we call instruction. Okay, if you're a professional facilitator like me, the most important word that you'll always hear is in a moment. Ah. Here's what's gonna happen. What's the most important word? In a moment. Ah. In moment. So instruction, this is how you give instruction to people. Most important instruction is your tone of voice. Partner A, please start talking now. Ibus lang isugo. Partner B, ready, begin. It has to be that way. So that's why if you notice um, why I can command to 10,000, 20,000 people that everyone is so engaged because of the instruction, I felt and I know I mastered it. Through the tone of voice. Letter P is process. Cross. question. Yes. How how do you maintain your voice mo hindi ka mapapaus? Okay, there's a technique around it. I don't do it. I can get it here. I get it here. I vocalize. This is not my normal speaking voice. True or true? What are we learning from here? So which means, this is the most important part. You know how to actually use the word education. It comes from Latin word called educare, where it will draw the learning from the student, not from you. And process is a lot of question. And some of the question here is, what are you learning so far? What struck you the most? Educare. So this is the point where you start asking people question. Good or good? Okay. Now, with all of this learning, I'm going to create now a puzzle. Ah, ngayon mo siya itagpi-tagpi para, ay, kuya, what's the model? Ito siya. So, synthesis, synthesis actually is you're actually putting out all the learning into one big puzzle. Ah, ay mo nini day summary. You integrate. You integrate. You summit all. And then, why is your story and then your action plan? Their action plan. Your story, their action plan. So you close it with, this is my story, and I'm inviting you to do this particular action plan. Good or good? Yeah. And this is just some of the pointers, okay? Letter A, you must have registration. Okay? And registration includes IDs. Very important, there's IDs. You as a speaker, you also have an ID. Now, 
after registration, make sure the room is actually ready, malamig na, conducive for learning. At the same time, there's a background music playing. Very important. So when, when we, we, this morning, when we came in here, like 8.30, you notice there's music already. Yes. Yeah. It creates ambience. But now, most important part here is music must be fast beat, okay? must be positive, okay? no cursing, um, because that's your way of doing it. Good or good. Okay? Every time I do seminar, I come in clean. Which is, I start my day really early. I do my prayer, I do my meditation, I do my yoga, I do everything. And I don't allow myself to be distracted with bad news. Okay, when you are introduced, do not wait. You have to stand up when you're being introduced because people will get to feel your presence already. Stand in the middle. Breathe in. Connect with everyone. Pan the audience left to right. Stand up. Breathe in. Smile. Okay, and the first thing that will come out from your mouth is what we call two enrolling question. Do not say good morning. How are you? How are you? Mayroon pag amigo How are you? Bakit mag friends pa tayo? Diba? Two enrolling question that is answerable by yes or no. Okay, so the f most of the time my enrolling question is I have my signature. Okay, and it has to be in this particular choice of words if you want to start with my choice of words. How many of you? And then raise your hand. How many of you are happy and excited today? And then, sige, sample lang. How many are happy and excited today? Okay. Thank you. We say thank, thank you, put it down, then put it down. Because, okay, how many are happy and excited today? How many are not? So notice what long instruction. At, at first, my professional name. Okay? How many of you are happy and excited today? It has to be done in high voice. Listen, how many are happy and excited today? Claros, <laughs> <laughs> your first two minutes will define whether you're going to need it or not. Start with a high note, start with confidence, start with excellence. Just go do it anyway. How many of you are happy and excited this morning? Yay! Yay! Thank you. Put your hands down. Anyone not? No. Okay, sample race. Awesome. You're honest. Let's give all a hand. Ah. <laughs> we're there. Okay, I'm going to you're happy and excited or you were forced to be here. I'd like to honor and thank you and acknowledge you for choosing to be here. Thank you. And let's give everyone a big, big round of applause. So when you start here is, the first here is, number one, stand up, pan the audience. Number two, two enrolling question. Number three, acknowledgement. And the choice of first that I always use, I'd like to honor, pause, and acknowledge you, pause, for choosing to be here. Yeah. And then from there, I always ask, how many of you here, so if it's example, it's a public class, where right? people were just asked to be there, but it's not really a requirement. How many of you here, you have um, family back home? Mm. Raise your hands, okay. Wow, palakpaka naman na sila. Thank you for choosing to be here because this could have been a family time, yes? yes? Anyone to have work that's pending that you need to finish? Raise your hand. Wow, thank you. You could have spent that time outside working, but you still chose to be here. With that, I'd like to make sure I value your time and honor you for showing up here. I'm going to give it on because you deserve the best. And you all deserve a big, big round of us. At least you have five clapping of hands on your first five minutes to create that energy. Are we good? Yes. Are we good? Yes. So during your opening, again, pan the audience, breathe, smile, do enrolling question, and then acknowledge them, acknowledge them, acknowledge them. Are we good? Yes. And after now you acknowledge, let her see here is talk about my topic for today is my topic for today is how to succeed in Japan. Are we clear? So my topic for today is how to succeed in Japan. Okay? And do not talk about your topic. Letter E is most important part here is Self-intro. 
clear? So sa self-intro mo, I already talk about letter A. Okay? You can talk about your name, age, location. Very important. Hi, my name is Ras. I'm 48, born and raised in Tapao City. Why do you think that's very important during your first introduction? Ah, okay, 48 today siya. Okay, you can talk about single or you can talk about anything personal about you. Are we good? Yeah. Letter B here is ETR. Earn the right. Anong karapatan mo? Bakit ka naimitahan bang yung speaker? <laughs> okay, you have to talk about your earn the right. So your earn the right here is letter A is your professional background. By the way, you have to ask permission when you introduce. Would it be okay if I introduce myself? Since I'll be with you in the next 45 or one hour. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So my name is... And then earn the right is professional background. Ito yung yabang factor mo. I've been, I've been uh, talking about uh, how to succeed in Japan for the past 30 years in my life. I was able to help 50,000 Japanese <laughs> really succeed in Japan. And uh, I've been very passionate about it. On the other hand, let's talk about your personal background. Question, Ross. Yes. Do you have a slide for that or you just talk about it? Um, personally, I don't use slides to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. But, but. If you need help because you're still new, mm -hmm. I would suggest yes, you must have. Mm -hmm. um, especially when there's photos of your children, your family, yeah, photos. Mm -hmm. photos. Mm -hmm. Not words. this is yeah, yeah, yeah. this is shit. <laughs> okay, you yeah. must photos that's so relatable. Na tao din pala siya. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Um, ako magudili na kay hasak hasang hasak na ako mm -hmm. sa sa sabi ko, and I'm very animated. Mm -hmm. But when you're starting, I would suggest yes. Question. Um, do you let the parang the one who like who's introduce you about you or you do it yourself? Most of the time I do it myself. Uh, because when you give them something to introduce, they will just read it and they won't even forget it. And they don't even care about the shit that's going on there. Alright. Yes. Here? Yeah. So good? Yes. Okay, and then Earn the right is professional background. I've been doing this lecture for the past 20 years of my life. In fact, I was helping more than um, 50,000 Japayukis succeed in Japan. So would that be exciting for you that I can share with you? Awesome. But on the other hand, okay, why I do what I do? Why I do what I do? Yes, Doris. Uh, uh, question ko lang sa earn the right. Um, what can you suggest na kumbaga yung yes sa mga bago pa talaga ano okay. yung, what can you brag about this? okay so Norris no? yes sir. okay so so uh, professionally I'm a licensed financial wealth planner mm -hmm. I've been doing this for the past um, eight months and I was trained professionally I was able to pass this and that and I'm, I'm proud of myself simply because as young as I am, I'm able to serve as many people as I can. Possible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can talk about pain. Pain. So why I do what I do? Um, 20 years ago, I read in the news that people who's actually traveling to Japan uh, are scammed. <laughs> Sige, ano gusto niyo sa phone? Ah, it, it pains me the most to see a lot of people who are hardworking. And, and, and the slides that I'm gonna show you is shocking because people are not stupid, but 95% of people at the age 60 or 65, they say they're their broke. Mm. That they need to work because they have to, not because they want to. Yeah. Or they're depending on someone else. And it pains me to see people who I love, my parents, are in that space. That's why I do what I do. 
investment pay. Mm. On the other hand, uh, at my age, at 26, okay, uh, I'm not yet where I'm right now. I'm not yet where I want to be in terms of my finances, but I'm sure by the age 60, people in my life will be very happy for me. Ask me why. Why? Because I have something that I will not be dependent on my children and people of us, and I know I'm not going to work for the rest of my life. Because I just do what I enjoy doing, because I know I'm prepared for my finances. Yeah. Would that be an exciting part for everyone here to be here? Yes. yes. Thank you. With that being said, I'll set aside who I am. And again, my topic for today is how to succeed in Japan. <laughs> Are we clear? Yes. Um, what did you observe that was very important that should not be missed, especially during your openings? So anyone? What did you realize about the activity that we just did that was very important? Yes. Um, to connect your personal story to what you're going to share, because that builds a lot of credibility, not just your professional background, but really your personal story. Mm -hmm. um, it does not have to be your success stories, even the, the difficulties that you face, because that would also make them listen and you know, become inspired to what you're going to share. Wow. Perfect. You know what Carla was saying. Okay. Um, Para sa akin, no matter how good you are professionally, mm. but if they don't know your personal story, mm. you'll be forgotten. Mm. No? In fact, uh, when I was a train the trainer in, in Singapore, um, there were a lot of people who were really level 10 professional, but I forgot about that. But there was someone there who was not a level 10 professional uh, by data. But his story is why I do what I do is because I was once in the lift in the parang, children's cancer patient mm. and when they got home uh, I, this child one child went to me had this drawing and this drawing was this little child and i and a pal they say this is me this is you and this child had me that's why I do this <laughs> can you imagine how important personal story is yeah i like what carol is saying also mm -hmm. Being able to understand that just don't talk about how great you are, but talk also of your personal struggle that they can yes. yes. Are we clear? However, I just have warning around personal struggle, it must be relatable to them. Mm. No? Because when you talk to rich kids, second, third generation, they cannot understand what about your parents? So talk about me. So it has to be their their story that's relatable to you. It may not be your own story, but other people's story. Very important. Maybe I got inspired by this someone who I just met on Facebook. Yes. Good, thank you. Let's give God help. Yeah. No, and especially ako, I pay very great attention to those people who's not actually part of the group. No, how do you feel, Gaya? You're not part of the group, mm. but I pay special attention to you. Okay. Good for you. How does that feel? Yeah, especially you appreciate it, especially you. Okay, so that's very important. You keep on checking in, checking in, checking in, and that's how you keep them engaged. Thank you. Let's keep going. Anyone else? So very important also when you run seminars, bridge. Which means you do not move from one topic to another topic without bridging it. Okay, so we're done with the intro, right? Okay, so opening, that's part of the opening. Second part here is what we call pakisulat bal, is your body or your content. Opening, body, which is your content. Yung laman ng sasabihin mo. Okay? I always want the rule of three. What's the word? Rule. Which means if, if my topic is how to succeed in Japan, I have at least three major subtopic around it. A- B and C. So my topic again that I will share with you is how to succeed in Japan. And these are the three of the most important things that I will share with you. Number one. Okay. Three, at least three. Especially yung type of content lang. Or if it's a long day seminar per module. The three, you also have, with the three topic, you also have three principle or stories around the three. So let me talk about earning money. 
The most important part here, when you actually create a subtopic, you must find a problem all the time that you have the solution. Kasi pag wala ka, pag, pag nagbigay ka ng prinsipyo, hindi naman wala ka ng pinasa ng problema, wala sa pakialam sa topic. Did you notice today I started the biggest problem on earth? We have the solution. Yes. So what are the problem? Number one, number two, number three. Mm. Anong solution? Coaching facilitating. Let's learn about it. Are you excited? Yes. Diba? Whether you're a student, you're a nurse, you're an Asian practitioner, this is something that you can use in your life. Did you notice that? So in every three topics, you also have three subtopics. Good or good? From the body content, we now move to the synthesis. The process and synthesis. So body content, process and synthesis. So the process and synthesis really is you, you ask your, your, your audience always. I think the most, the safest question to ask your, your audience is what, what, what did you learn about this activity? What was your biggest aha? What's important for you that you can actually practice in your life? And then if you're confident enough and you have time, you can pick up some people. Some people. Okay? And then synthesis really summarizing. So I just did it, diba? Sinabi ko yung sinabi niya, sinamarize ko, nilagyan ko siya ng keywords, action plan. Summarize and connect to the topic. Perfect. Okay, so your body process content. And lastly, call, and then after the process synthesis, call for action. Now, learning what you have learned, what do we do now? Now, if it's an organization, the call for action must have a clear goal. And structure of accountability. All of the things that I do, Laging pagkatapos sa seminar, anong goal mo dito? Tapos ano yung structure of accountability natin dito? So example, coach, uh, Okay, so with that being said, so example, uh, so now you learn uh, all of the, about this, what is it that you wanna do? Okay, anyone willing to start their financial freedom uh, journey right now? Raise your hand. Awesome. So, since we're here to support you, in a moment, we'll be sending you to talk to those people in less than an hour because they will actually support you create that plan. Yeah. Where then? Any question around call for action? Why is it important that uh, there's always a call for action? Great question. Why is it important that there's always a call for action? Knowledge is not power. It only becomes a power when you put them into action. But this is useless unless what I know. And, and if people are asking us, why are we so... Because all organizations have clear goal na money. Eh. But they don't have this. But the structure of accountability is really support system. How do you want to be supported? So you have to write that one. Support system equals habit forming. It has to be a new habit already. Support system that becomes now a habit forming. Okay, and lastly is ask for feedback. Ask for feedback. And the feedback can be as for feedback, the value that I created for myself today by attending this seminar is. Which means you as a speaker or facilitator, you are actually asking for affirmation. You're actually asking for validation. And bayat ka or hindi, pag na-validate ka, uuwi ka, excited at masaya. Kasi narinig mo na nakatulong ka pala. Good? Yes. So, okay, so we just finished.
Is there anything you want to tell the people watching this video? Um, hi everyone, and I'm I'm just so blessed to be able to support people grow. And maybe my message really is, um, if you want a great and lasting avalanche of blessing in 2020, mm -hmm. um. Always keep in mind all the time how can I bless, how can I give, how can I support, how can I add value to as many people as I can. And, and that's the way you get to receive a lot when you give so much. I guess that's, that's the whole message. Uh, so it's more of tithing. Instead of thinking about what you could get, it's always thinking about what you can how give. Can I serve? Give. How can I serve? How can I serve? So, that's it. Thank you for making it till the end. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And before we end, I would like to introduce you to someone. Okay, so this is my friend, Kuya Philip. And this January 18th of 2020, he will be having a conference. And I would like to invite each and every one of you watching this video to be there. And he will explain why. So, hello guys. Thank you for patronizing or watching till the end of this video yes. of my wonderful friend right here, Josh. And hi guys, this is Philip okay. and I'd like to invite you on my seminar this coming January 18, 2020 mm -hmm. and we will be talking about the true health and transformation. It is a wellness in a holistic way and in this moment on and at that seminar, I will give you and I will reveal to you the things that the beverage industry are not telling you that causes and affects harm to your health. So I want to see you there and if you want to have more insights or more details about that seminar of us, please refer to our page Kangen Kaizen yep, and the, the posters will be in this description. At yeah. the same time, you can contact us there. So I'll see you guys. Okay. And I will also be there. So if you want to see me or meet me personally, be there. That's it. Signing off. Peace out.